Hey guys, welcome if you're new or welcome back if you're my soul fam. Hey guys. Um, I said, I realized earlier I said I was going to do a reading, so I'm up. Um, I don't want to leave you guys hanging, but I, I noticed this. I've been saying mate. I never fucking say mate. Excuse my French. And I started like... I'm talking in an astri- astri- I can't even speak. Someone does not like- I kid you not, guys. Let me hold this. Um, Lindsay from Australia. Is there a Lindsay from Australia here? Because- Yeah, I keep- <laughs> Maybe, like, even if it's, like, two or three years from now. I'm not saying this message is specifically just for you. There's a ton of messages all the time. Mm hmm but there's a Lindsay from Australia, which is really cool. I was like, ooh, names. Sorry, I'm like so excited to start getting names. Empress. Okay, so we have the Empress. She did come out in reverse. I'm pretty sure I just keep holding my deck in reverse, so that's probably why, 121 on the clock. But we have the Empress. And then we have Temperance, Earth Angel, Sagittarius, and Taurus is also um, the Empress. But however, signs do not matter, and it also doesn't matter if it's a king or queen. It's just an energy. They embody an energy, okay? So there, okay, this is like cloud nine, you guys. Let me tell you that first off. If you're shining like this... <laughs> You are not just, like, every queen embodied in the deck and the empress. Like, that is everything. The empress is everything. She's motherly. She's wise. She's beautiful. She's nurturing. She's the fucking empress. Let's get real. She's all the queens combined, basically. And then you have this perfect equilibrium with the earth, earth angel, like, Sagittarius sign. But it's just everything that the sign, not just the sign, but this card embodies. Who's ever, whoever is carrying this energy right now, you guys, this is beautiful. You are shining, glowing right now. And you have a Knight of Cups rushing in. I'll probably move this candle down. Was there just something in the fucking background? I'm gonna have a heart attack, guys. Pray for me. <laughs> Paranormal as shit all the fucking time my video gets cut off it's because i was talking about the wrong thing or something doesn't want to get out and that's why that happens sometimes i'm sorry i paid for like two t bytes of data okay this is like a beautiful reading right now oh my goodness you guys you have the empress you have freaking temperance balance equilibrium like harmony and you have sorry the ten of pentacles that's what's coming for you if you keep working on yourself yeah. Are you healing? Are you confronting things that you maybe don't want to confront? That's a good sign. If you are. Then we can, you know, get past them. Be better. You do have a romantic person rushing in. They are a knight. Now the knight of cups in reverse can be um, a very playerish energy, okay? Donald too. Someone's name could be Donald that passed. And Albert. Wait, I put these up right, right? No, I didn't. Huh. Okay, sorry. So we also have um, the Chariot and the fucking Star card. So also Cancer and Aquarius. But, like, what I'm getting is, like, whatever you've been doing, keep doing it. Because, like, your manifested dreams are coming in. I'm sure we're going to get that card. But, like, what I get from that is, like, what you've been wishing on is already on its way. Unbeknownst to you. If you're new to my readings, I'm sorry you can't see the cards. I literally feel. And it's just, it's different. Different reading. Yeah, like I said, you're wishes on its way it's been coming in and whether that be a person or money or something it's coming 
you've been plant planting seeds for a long time for this. You've been either like, whether you've been unconsciously doing it, just telling yourself like you have these things or feeling certain ways it was five or five on the clock. Like your mind is a very powerful thing. Also, when you are like, you know, manifesting, don't be like, I wish I had this or I'm going to get this. Be like, I have this. Sp spend like you already have it. Not to the extent with some people, definitely if you have kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, someone could be going to jail too. I know these readings are all over. So if you're new, you're like, what the fuck is this bitch even talking about? Sorry. Someone could be going over to jail over fighting. It could be a Pisces, or you could have Pisces in your chart. I feel like there was a group of people fighting over, a, like, a person as well. Lindsay? Is that you? <laughs> Ace of Wands. They are fighting over having this new passion at the beginning with you. Like I said, your ships are rolling and your manifested dreams. Is it happening? Mm. They're on their way. Action is being taken. Someone's also like minimizing something. I don't know like about what. It could, it could be about like anything, but someone's minimizing something. And it's creating blockages. Maybe a king of wands. Someone that's very creative and passionate and um, fiery, ambitious, goes after what they want. Goes after what they want, two of cups. So this is a love situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be love for everyone. Like it can be money too, like manifested dreams on your way messages get out and like whether you believe in god or a higher power or whatnot they're the universe is too smart and it's like we are shown things in like places for a reason whether that be to scare you away from tarot channels <laughs> completely or you know like lead you away from a person you're not supposed to be with or work on yourself there's there's little signs and synchronicities and day-to-day -day things that if you start being more conscious and aware of, you'll pick up on a lot more stuff. We're very spiritual beings. Okay? Very spiritual beings. <laughs> High priestess. Very intuitive. Fucking, you know, psychic shit. And the wheel. It's all turning right now. For this, like I said, not every message is for everyone, but there is a specific message for quite a large group of people. I mean, one is with love. The other could be like career, finances, job. But the wheel is on your side and the wheel is actually turning right now. Like if you've been doing good and you've been having good karma, like, and you've been working so hard, you maybe have been going through a bunch of like past life karma or other things. Yeah, this karma of you being good is finally here. Reward, payout, your karma's coming in. Looking for that new future, that new beginning. Yeah, someone could be traveling very soon too. And you know why you're getting this? Because it's justice, it's time for justice. You're getting justice and that's 11, that could be significant to you, but also Libra. You're very creative at this time right now. You're very passionate about things and creative. And if you aren't there yet, you're going to be. If this reading found you, you're going to be. It's the second you walk away from what you need to walk away from and you start living in your most true, authentic self. When you walk in that path that was designed for you and you stay on it, being who you are and doing good, 
good things happen and the wheel is on your side. That's fucking awesome. 10, 01 on the clock, so near neighbors. I said when you walk away and you think logically, walk away, think logically. Who are you nurturing? Are you nurturing yourself? Something I would like to reiterate on my channel, I've said it in a few videos, do not pay attention if you distracted. Hello, I'm here, oranges, orange peel, lemon. Okay, listen. Oh, fuck you guys, it's not fuck you, I'm so sorry. Um, if you put all the love, I'm so sorry I said that, I did not mean it, but if you put all the love that you're trying to give to someone else into yourself can you imagine what can happen just like a plant if you're not watering it is it gonna grow no the fake ass person that doesn't want to heal yet or anything like that are they growing water yourself physically too you know but nurture yourself watch your whole life change Guys, uh, if enough people ask for my story, I'll tell you. Trust me, this shit works. Alchemy. You don't have to go to spell work and all this stuff. You don't have to pray to down below. You look up and you pray up. You don't pray down. You pray up. You look up. You surrender to a higher power that... It's unbeknownst to you. Look up and pray. Do good to other people. Be good. I'm going to get cut off. Be good to other people. Watch what happens to you. It may take a year. may take two. You might be in heavy karma from past lives and everything else. But if you don't give up on yourself, trust me when I say God, a higher power, the divine will not give up on you. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I just heard like, good, like, good bitch. That's what you needed to say. All right. Oh, I was so sorry for you. Um, if you're new, hi, I'm fucking crazy, but I'm really not. I'm just like, have some shit I can help you with. And what's funny is I literally like, I was just shuffling my deck. I shuffle my deck every night. But this, this relationship or this toxic thing that someone may need to leave, it made them a wounded warrior. But then there's also a situation where, like, your manifested dreams are coming true. So, like, if there, like, is an actual soulmate coming in or, like, very spiritual 1313 connection, this person is going to be good to you. And remember, what you give is what you get. So there is a situation real fast. Like, there is someone, like, getting their manifested dreams with love coming in. That is a small amount. And I'm sorry. That's for a select few. Maybe fucking Lindsay. I don't know. I got your name. Australia, mate. Anyways. um, Other ones, you have a good break coming in money and career. You may be getting moved up in your job. Um, you hear that car alarm? Maybe you should go check on your car. I don't know. Someone could leave their, um, what is it? Their fucking brake on something? I don't know. 14, 14 on the clock. Make sure your cars are okay, guys. You can also take it somewhere to see if anyone put a tracking device on it. You'd be surprised people are, like, more crazy than you think. I know. I fucking, when you are this way, you attract a lot of fucking crazy people. And guys, I lost my home for, like, don't even want to talk about it. Completely alone for years. Okay? People are crazy. Definitely, like, 
let me say this real fast. I don't want to scare you guys, but you can think you're safe in your neighborhood and all that. There are some crazy people on this street that literally talk about going out, breaking into people's houses, and doing terrible things that I'm not going to say on here right now. You need to always make sure you're locking doors. You should have protection in your house. You should. Especially if you have a family. Especially if you're alone. And learn how to use that protection. I'm talking spiritually. Ace of Wands. There could be a Taurus, possibly. It doesn't have to be Taurus. It could be someone with like a God complex or someone that's spiritual, but is more into the dark arts, let's say that. With a King of Pentacles. Someone has been working on taking money from someone in a love situation. It was meant to seem like a love situation, but it is not. This person was tricking this person. They could have, like I said in a past video, tried to like make a lot of money with you sexually, or they could have been asking for pictures and videos of you pretending to be a certain way, but really using you to make money. Lots of fucking disease, a lot of taking, a lot of working on taking this deceit. So, I don't know what I'm going to label this because there's a bunch of messages. Jumbled. Just kidding. Healing. What do I need to give you guys? Also, Joseph could be someone's name. Just hear me out, guys. I'm sorry. Just wait. Like, this stuff, it, it's not like we can just do it super fast. We get what we get when we get it. And we're grateful for that. Patience. I also got Stevie. And suits. Like, someone could wear a lot of suits, but I also got subliminal. Subliminal? Subliminally? Someone sublimin subliminally doing something? I don't know what that word is. Dark arts. Yep. Magic. Tower. Someone, it was just 8.18 on the clock. Someone's trying to cause a tower moment. It could be a Pisces. Someone wants to cause a tower moment, but they're in the hangman state because there is a lot of fighting and they don't want this fighting anymore. Monarch butterflies and yellow butterflies. Any butterflies right now could be significant, especially because there is a shortage or like something's happening with the butterflies. Something's happening with the butterflies, you guys. Watch out. I have no fucking idea what that is. Okay. Well, that's nice. We got the Emperor, the Nine of Cups, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. This person is trying to cause a tower moment wherever they are to come towards their Nine of Pentacles. So, um, saw a beautiful cricket next to me earlier. It wasn't chirping or anything. It was big, big ass black cricket. And he just like was right next to the bed staring at me. 
and I was just like looking down and I was like hey buddy he was like just really cute my sister almost stomped on him when she came in here she was like yeah but I was like mm -mm -mm. anyways I looked up the spiritual meaning of cricket and it means like fucking luck and abundance so that could be relevant to this situation as well I'm not just saying that because of me you guys you know a lot of us are going through a lot of the same same shit collectively and um that's like something that you know i really have found online too is it's really crazy how um we are led places to go on these journeys and to figure out what we're supposed to be doing who we're supposed to be who we're supposed to help how we're supposed to step up and take the lead in our own life and play that role and love ourselves and nurture ourselves just be your fucking best authentic you i mean shit you guys probably think i'm weird right and i've been like not accepted most of my life i'm fucking have these sh shits i can't explain so i probably seem crazy well that's okay because you know I don't have to pretend to be anyone else and I don't get caught up in lies because I'm just genuinely being me and you guys have loved me so far and you guys like you you don't understand like how fucking grateful I am I'm not even gonna start crying like you have no I, I had no one for so long and just like the amount of people that are all on this like crazy journey that we call life and there's so many of you waking up right now and I know that's why, like, I needed to come on here. It's because we need guides. We need guides that will guide us in the right path. Whether that be me or someone that you treasure close, you just need to be focusing on you right now. And you need to be loving yourself. Watch yourself grow. Guys, you don't know. <laughs> I promise you. I promise. Cognitive fucking connections. Try to demonetize me, bitches.